Hey guys, today I'm piping succulents. That's right, you guys have been requesting to see me make a succulent cake, but I wanted to take it a step further and make it kind of a trendy design as well. So I've popped them into a concrete planter complete with hot pink chocolate rocks. I had so much fun making this and I hope that you guys get a kick out of watching. So the first thing I did was bake an eight inch round ball cake. I just used our vanilla cupcake recipe and I got this cake as well as six cupcakes out of one batch. I've also got some cake plates. I have an eight inch round as well as a four inch round. And then I have a 10 inch cake board that I'm gonna be placing the finished cake onto. I'm also gonna be using a spatula, a scraper, as well as a bread knife. And I've made up lots and lots of my sweet buttercream recipe. The cake itself is gonna have this cool gray color. And I picked this because I really want the pot to have a cool concrete effect. So now I wanna mark out on the cake exactly where to make a filling layer. So I'm going to measure up about two inches all the way around and just create a little score mark with my bread knife. Now you can come along and just join up all of those score marks and then start cutting all the way through. Now I also want to flatten off the top because that's going to be our base and so I want it to be four inches all up. So what I'm going to do is place it on top, make some little marks and then just take a little layer off. If you're worried, just take a little bit less and then measure it. So at this point, I'm ready to start stacking it up onto its cake plates. So I'm gonna move the cake, take my four inch round, and just apply a touch of buttercream. Take my bottom layer and place it on. And I find it's easier at this point to turn it over just to make sure that it's in the middle. Turn it back and apply that beautiful filling layer. Now, a lot of you have been asking me about the cake recipes that I use and about the temperature of the cakes because they do seem quite sturdy. For one, the recipes are a little bit more dense than say a sponge cake, but it also has a lot to do with the fact that after I let them cool down, I pop them into the fridge for at least six hours before I start this process. It's really important to make sure that you have a chilled cake because it will help you to not get as many crumbs in your buttercream. I'm gonna make sure you go all the way out to the edge, grab our next cake and pop it on. Now just feel around to make sure that it's all lined up. And then you can take your finger or a spatula and just scrape off the excess. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and take my eight inch cake plate, place it on my cake and flip the entire thing over. Now I'm gonna go ahead and basically ice between the two boards making sure you get all the way down to the bottom and scraping up. Taking my scraper, I'm now gonna scrape it back because you do want a crumb coat to be fairly thin. And you can work your way from the bottom up to the top or from the top down, it doesn't matter as long as you scrape off that excess and get back to the board. Now I'm gonna pop this into the fridge for about 10 or 15 minutes so that it's set up enough that we can apply that final coat. Make sure you get a whole pile on there and then scrape it off. Make sure the board's nice and clean. That's all you need to do for the cake. We're gonna flip it over Grab our cake plate and very carefully add a little bit of buttercream on there. And then as I like to do, I'm just gonna line them up and flip it over. Now we can take off this board, carefully drag that all in, and then add a little bit to the top. All right guys, now it's up to the really fun part where we get to pipe our succulents. 
This is where you can really personalize this cake and you can play up to the piping strengths that you have. So I've got in here some trusty 104 tips as well as some leaf tips, which are super easy to work with. I've also got lots and lots of different sizes of the star tip and it's all really about adding variety. So I've also got a bunch of colors that I'm working with. And the fabulous thing is that you can come up with any designs in any shade of color and you can really mix it up and make it your own. Now I wanna start out with a leaf tip one. And the way that you use a leaf tip generally is that you have it where it looks like it's chomping down. I'm Gonna just create a little mound. You can do this with a round tip or you can just do it with this. Squeeze and pull out. Squeeze and pull out. Working your way around. And just make one full row. Then come up at an angle and do the same. Coming up again. And in the center. Then I'm gonna take this off and place it onto a cookie sheet to allow it to set in the fridge. I love making these leaf ones. They're so easy and they look so cool. Now, if you don't have a leaf tip or you don't have one large enough, you can take a piping bag and just make two little snips. And there you have your very own. This time it's a bit larger. Make a little mound still. and squeeze and release. And then you have a different variety. Now I'm taking the 104 tip in a dark shade of green. And I'm just gonna make a little circle of frosting and then go out and around. And this is exactly like our begonias. You can see it in our buttercream cupcake lesson. This time we're working on getting height. Another thing you can do with the 104 tip, and I'm just gonna use a light color for this is use it so that the big part of the piping tip is actually out. And that's the opposite of what you're normally going for. This is gonna to help to make it look very puffy. So I'm doing a little dollop in the center and curving it around. Almost like closing it off like a ranuncular in our flower lessons. And that makes it look less like a flower and more like a succulent. Now using a 102 tip, which is basically the same as a 104, just a little bit smaller, I'm gonna add two different shades into it. I'm gonna use a terracotta shade that I've made using maroon and also autumn leaf. And I'm just gonna stripe it along the bag where the skinny part of our tip is. Then I'm gonna fill the rest of my bag with a really nice green that's got a real gray tinge to it. Make sure I get out a lot of that terracotta color that's at the start. I'm gonna do another little bit there. And then I'm gonna go out and around. And that gives us some gorgeous variety in color. And then you can always come back and do the same style in a slightly different shade, or you can just change up the size that you're working with. 
so that you have some of these in a 104 and a 102. Now getting started on something really cool, I'm using an 80 loyal tip and I'm just going to create a little bit of a mound here for myself. Now this looks like a semicircle or a bit of a moon shape and you want to make sure that it's curving so that the pointy edges are up. You want to start, pull out and flick up. Coming in a bit. And when you're just starting out, just don't pull very hard or very far. And when you're ready, you can pop them into the fridge for about 10 minutes. Now, once everything's been chilling, it's time to start assembling the cake. So I have a few other colors and piping tips for the succulents that I'm gonna be creating on top of the cake. But we also need to make sure that we pop on the ones that we've made. So I wanna go ahead first and just apply a thin coating to the top of the cake again, just so that everything sticks. So all you need to do is peel them off their wrappers and just pop them down onto the cake. Don't be afraid to pop them on top of each other to get some extra height. Now using a 4B, I'm going to just squeeze and then release and then come back and add a little dot of white in the center and some dots down each of those little lines. Now if it takes too long while you're doing things like this, you can always pop the extra succulents back in the fridge so that they stay nice and firm. I also have a 21 tip that I've got a couple of shades of green in, just mixed together. You can add some little dollops and a little touch of white on top. And a 199 tip with just a nice mid green get some different sizes going. I have a 1M tip with a really dark shade of green. And I'm gonna come back and just pull in those bits into the center. Place a little dollop of white on top and some little dots down the side. And then you wanna have some so that they're cascading down just to give some more movement. And remember, you don't have to cover every square inch of this cake because we have got these gorgeous chocolate rocks. And don't be afraid to group things together because that's what we would do if we were planting them. And there you are guys, we have our succulent cake in a concrete planter. I had so much fun making this and so many of you have been requesting for me to make a succulent cake. I hope that you got so much out of it. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you liked this lesson and subscribe to our channel for more videos.